Is there anything to tell you like how watered it is? I think it's I think it's supposed to change colors. Right? That looks like it's changing colors, right? Yeah, it definitely is. You can tell the difference now. What's up, my infected friends? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Missed Survival. Oh my god, look at this guy. He made it in here. Thank god I wasn't in here, right? Oh boy, because someone left the door open. Who could that have been? Eh, it might have been me. Uh, let's check these guys for loot. They don't usually have loot if I don't kill them, but... You know, it only takes a second to check for the loot. So, I need to arm these guys, by the way. I need to give Scott and uh, Rachel some guns and ammo. And um, they don't use ammo. It, like, if you just give them a gun with, like, one round in it or something, um, they, they'll, like, be able to shoot forever. I think, what do you have to do? Give them a gun with one round and then give them a, another round or something? I don't remember exactly the trick, but there's a trick where they could shoot forever. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna do some exploration today. Don't forget, um, if you go in the if you go in the description of every video I ever made, uh, well, any video I've made in the past year, I do have a link to my to my Discord channel. You guys need to come check out the Discord. We've gotten an influx of so many people recently, and it's so fun. We're all talking about Mist. We're talking about Seven Days to Die. We're talking about No Man's Sky. Everything, and also. I do have the map linked in my Discord. Discord's free. You join my Discord, you go to the Mist channel, the map will be linked there. I do have the map of my third monitor, and we're going to be doing some exploring today, people. All right? Uh, while we're exploring, we're going to be looting because I need to loot. There's no doubt about that. Also, I'm going to be looking out for a chicken, okay? Because I would really, really like to get a chicken as well. Um, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Also, also, when we get back, we are going to do some farming because I know I have seeds. I did get a thing of seeds at the Big Bandit Camp. If you guys missed that video, if you guys missed the last episode, you need to go check it out. It was freaking insane. I haven't edited it yet. Edited it yet. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit ahead here. Um, but I'm telling you, man, it was freaking wicked. And I'm going to edit the crap out of it because I failed so many freaking times. Um, did I eventually get the kill on the bandits? Did I get the bandit camp? Well, maybe. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Maybe I grabbed the seeds and, and ran out of there and didn't kill all the bandits. Who knows? Gonna have to go check out the video. All right, so let's get going, guys. Um, where are we gonna... Okay, so I know where we want to go check out first. We're gonna go up to the north, all right? Um, there is the blacksmith place. There is the free sawmill. Okay, we have to go north, and this is north. And then what we're gonna do is... There's a couple of sniper towers up north, um, but I don't think they have snipers in them. At least, I hope not. Um, as a matter of fact, just in case... Let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to go up north. We're going to kind of check out these sniper towers. Um, there's two of them up front, uh, up top. Uh, and then we're going to go to the mine. And um, eh, I probably won't mess. I probably won't mess with the mine. But um, I do have to go to the mine at some point, guys. Because, like, oh, boy. I need materials in the worst way. I have no I have no ammo for, uh, for my sniper rifle. I have no way of making ammo. I, I just got to hit the mine big time. Uh, I'm going to be streaming this on Friday. Don't forget, guys. I stream, I'm going to stream this every damn Friday. Uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, although my schedule is changing next week, so maybe I shouldn't say I'm going to stream every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, <laughs> I'm streaming this Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern, but that'll be the last time because I'm going to start working late on Fridays. Um, but I'm going to have to find another time to stream this. That's, hmm, I'm going to have to think about that. I'm going to have to think about that. Definitely want to stream more of this. So, All right, so the sniper, the sniper tower should be around here somewhere. Yep, there it is. Now, there shouldn't be a sniper. There shouldn't be any sniper in there, hopefully. Um, so we'll have to see how that goes. And we're going to break apart a lot of cars today, too. Any cars that we come across that need to be broken apart will be broken apart, as well as grabbing gas. Can you use gas in the generator? I think you can, if I remember correctly, but I'm not 100% on that. I don't really remember because I would never use gas in the generator. And I suggest you never use gas in the generator. The generator can take a couple, um, a couple things uh, for fuel. Uh, and the gas is finite, and the killing of bears, harvesting their fat, and making um, biofuel is infinite. So, yeah, don't, even if you can use, I don't think you can, though. Uh, or no, you can. Actually, I think you can, but don't. Don't, don't do it, guys. Trust me. Trust me on that. Oh, we got a dead zombie over here. Got no loots. I don't, one thing I don't need is more logs, right? Although, I probably should grab rocks. Yeah, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab some rocks. I don't think I have a lot of rocks back at base. And I do need those for certain things. Uh, whoa, a lot of logs over here. Um, oh, another thing. Has anybody been using the... I can't show you them. But you know those um, those small game traps, you know, uh, that you're supposed to set with bait and stuff? Has anybody been using them? Because they didn't work in the last update. And I'm hearing rumors that they don't work in this update either. And I don't really want to waste resources on that small game stuff. 
if it's not working. So has anybody used the small game traps? You know, the ones that capture rats and, and rabbits and stuff? Um, that would be very helpful if anyone could let me know about that. Oh, there's a whole thing up here. All right, cool. Ooh, this wouldn't be a bad place to live. Oh, God! Except for this. That is not good. Um, should I grab his meat? Oh, boy, I guess I, I, guess I should. That's going to really kill a lot of time. It's not what I'm here for. I'm going to leave it alone. Eh, I really hate leaving him alone, but... Yeah, I really want to grab the meat, but... I just can't do it. It's going to kill too much time, and the meat will be in bad shape by the time I get home anyway. I don't know. Maybe I'll come back up here at the end of the at the end of the episode if I if I think about it and whatever. But I can always get more bears. So, but this would be a really cool place to make a base, man. Like for real. There's only one way in. Although I don't like the fact that a bear spawns around here. But I've uh, made a base around a tower before, and it was it was pretty freaking fun. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, here we go. A bag we don't need. Grab that. Getting some loot. I love getting loot. I love getting loot. Loot for days. Loot everywhere. Give me all the loot. By the way, you can take apart guns um, for stuff. How much How much do you take for harvesting the guns? How much do you get? It's not bad. It's not bad. I'll probably take it apart, but not right now. Um, I only need so many pistols, right? Okay, let's throw this down here. And we will put this in the back of the old truckity truck. Because we need more loot. Because we need... Well, actually, we need is loot storage. Um, now, the big the big security lockers are obviously better to store stuff because they hold more stuff. But they also cost a lot more. So I don't really want to be dealing with the big security lockers if I don't have to. And with these things, well, I don't have to. Because uh, they're free. <laughs> free is good, right? I mean, yeah, they don't hold as much as security lockers. But, you know, whatever. I mean... There's only so many cars on the map to take apart, guys. And you saw last video, it takes one piece of iron to get one piece of scrap. That's incredibly bad ratio. I will be mining for freaking hours to, to get the amount of scrap I'm going to need. So I'm not going to be uh, throwing that stuff out, that's for sure. Um, when I could just e easily get storage, it's almost as good and free. I get a lot of rags, that's really nice. That is really nice. This would be a cool place for a compound. Uh, more ammo. I need that shoe. Give me the shoe. Okay, more of this stuff. We done over here? I think we're just about done. Any car you can drive, there's never anything in it. Just so you know. I'll just show you. All right? Same. There's never anything in it. So I've been told the trick to not having the truck have problems backing up is leave about leave a, like a half a foot between the back of the truck and your storage units. So, um, let's see if it'll back up okay now. Yeah, it's backing up okay now. So, yeah. Well, so far, so good. So, there should be another sniper tower over here. Um, it looks like there's a way down kind of in the middle. That goes... Oh, I heard a chicken. I heard a chicken. Hold on. Guys, if I can find a chicken, this whole thing's getting derailed because I gotta... There he is. Oh, what do we got over here? Hold on. Yeah, if I get a chicken, this whole thing's getting derailed because I need to bring the chicken home. So, uh, let's see if there's anything in here before we get the chicken, though. Ooh, a knife. Me likey. Me likey the knife. Anything over here? No, nope, just some branches. Nope. Anything on the roof? Probably not. Let's let's check, though. You never know. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's, let's check. Doesn't hurt to check, right? Too bad I can't put the chicken in a, in a box. That'd be cool. Uh, let's go easy down on this one. You could really hurt your leg very easily in this game. Come on. Come on. There you go. Alright, let's get that chicken. Now, you should be able to get... Once you're holding a chicken, you should be able to get into your truck. So, if I can get in my truck, I'll just go home and drop off the chicken. Then we'll come out and do some more looting. And that will be, like, great. I've been, I'm really worried about finding a chicken because I have not seen any. So, alright, buddy. How'd you get up? Oh, man. Is he going to be out of reach? He's going to be out of reach, isn't he? Son of a biscuits. Let's see if he can come up this side. Nope. Nope. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. F. 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 Why can't I? Do I have to hold it? F. E. F. There we go. I was too close to him, I guess. All right. Can we get in the truck and drive this sucker home? 
And I don't see them, but I'm pretty sure we have them. Yep, that is awesome. That is awesome, guys. Well, now you guys know where to get chickens. I, you know where I live. I showed you exactly how to get here. And there's another chicken I just passed. So it's not a fluke. There's definitely going to be chickens up here. So when I put the chicken down back at the base, by the way, I put him in one of the, um, remember one of those uh, sheds I built inside the barn? That's where I put him. Um, and when I put him down, he does have a thirst and hunger meter, which has me nervous. He might kind of starve to death, but there's not really much I could do about that. I mean, I could probably just go, you know, grab another one at some point. But uh, let me check this place out. I'm pretty sure I've already looted this place. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is one of the first places I looted, and I thought that went up to the edge of the map. Little did I know that there would be chickens up there. Wow, that is just... It's crazy. Crazy. All right, let's get up there. And let's continue looting. Uh, we're going to loot most of the video. And then at the end, I'm going to go home. We're going to do the um, we're gonna do the uh, farming. Maybe I can get some water things set up for the chicken. I'm not really sure exactly if he needs to eat or drink. Uh, you know, who knows? Who knows? We're going to find out together. All right, so here's another uh, tower. And we're going to keep a lookout for a bear again. And I'm not really seeing a bear. This wouldn't be a bad place for a base either. The only thing that makes this a bad place for a base is if you build walls. You know, um, walls don't do well on uneven terrain. That's the problem with this area. Now, some people say, don't build walls, build the, the fencing. It's a lot cheaper. Yeah, it is a lot cheaper. But actually, it might not be cheaper because the walls only take nails. Now, nails do take components, but you need two components. One component makes 32 nails. And you need multiple fences to cover the area of a, of a wall. Actually, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, as far as metal goes... Now, if you're just talking about wood, then yes, the uh, fence is cheaper. But if you're talking about metal, no, the walls are actually cheaper. Because you got to put a couple of these livestock fencing, at least two or three, to cover the amount of space a wall would cover. And these take two components each. So no, actually, I disagree. If you're talking about metal, the wall's cheaper. Boom! Science! Dropping some dropping some knowledge bombs on you. I hope I'm right about that, by the way. I'm pretty sure I am. So a lot of people said to break stuff up more because you could break up you could break up a lot of stuff you couldn't before. But that I've not been finding that to be the case. I've been trying to break stuff up, guys, and I really don't seem to be able to break up a lot of stuff. Look, I was trying to break up everything today. But I'm telling you, like, I've been hitting stuff off camera and it, it doesn't nothing breaks. Oh, well there you go. I didn't think that would break. Ah, just wood, though. I'm not, I'm not taking wood. That's not even worth it. As a matter of fact, there. What about this? All right, give me some metal. All right, all right. So maybe there's a lot more stuff to break up than I uh, originally thought, which is great. That's awesome. I'm really happy about that because metal is my biggest concern in this game, as if I don't mention that like 50 times a freaking episode. Uh, uh, okay, we will take this with us. Can we break this? No. We break that? No. Now I'm going to start hitting everything. You know that, right? Look what you started, guys. Look what you started. Take that. Take that. Break this. Nothing. Can I break that? No. Okay, cool. Alright, let's bring this thing down there. Get down there! We got to get going. I love this freaking view, man. It's amazing. All right, guys. So we're driving down uh, the way we went up, and I'm going to pass by the mine, and we're gonna loot some more places by the uh, past the mine. Um, I'm not gonna hit the mine today. There's, you know, I don't have my pick with me, and honestly, I don't have a lot of time to do it. Uh, we're gonna have to hit the mine now. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Like, like it's gonna have to be on stream too. Definitely this Friday. I'm gonna hit the mine quite a bit. I gotta decide what I'm gonna stream this game because of my work schedule change. But anyway, there's the mine right there. Can't miss it. And then we're going to come on up here. And I'm pretty sure I checked out that building. I've checked out a lot of these buildings. I'm not really sure which ones. But there might be stuff that I could break over here. Eh, let's, let's give it a look. Why not? See if there's anything we could break that we didn't know about. Nope. Nope. We got over here. Nothing. Can I not get in that tent? Oh, there we go. Nothing in the tent. Anything up here? Doesn't look... Oh, look at that thing's all floating. Why are you floating, bro? Stop floating. All right, well, fair enough. Now, I'm pretty sure you can't take apart a truck. No, I didn't think so. Anything in there that I missed? Nope. All right. Let's keep on keeping on. Come on down here. Now, this is going to be a little bit rough down here. And people that say, oh, why do you save all the time? Well, let me tell you something, man. This truck will flip very easily. And that's part of the reason I save all the time. 
So, I mean, you guys don't want to save all the time? That's fine. You do you. But I don't need to be... You know, it only takes a second to save. So, I don't need to be um, losing a bunch of time trying to get back to where I was because I, I was, you know, I wasn't saving enough. What do we got over here? I don't know what's over here. Oh. See, that looked like I should be able to drive through it. But I can't. And that's the kind of stuff your, your car will get stuck. So let's just kind of back out of here. Come on. Come on, I know you can do it. There you go. And then we're going to go to the left and see if we can go this way. Alright. Drive up here. Oh. What's up there? What's in my way? What the hell? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Oh, what do we got over here? Oh. Little lake? Doesn't look like there's anything over there. But we do have some interesting things over here. We've got some cars we're going to take apart. You best believe that. Come on. No, nothing there. Here's some houses. I probably took apart some of these houses. Remember that a lot of these houses I didn't go in because of the infected? Well, I can go in them now. Also, you can use stuff to block the door. Like, you could put, like, a suitcase in front of the door. And then, like, just get the zombie's attention. Get him to come to the door. And then just kill him easy. So, uh, and I will probably do that because it's pro strats and I like to pretend I'm a pro. Alright, so apparently I've already looted this place because I put a little thing down here. But, maybe I could break stuff apart in here that I, I wasn't aware of. I don't know. Let's just give it a, a quick once over. Yeah, it doesn't look like you break up a lot, but there are things, so. We gotta find, we have to find the things. Alright, so this doesn't look like you break up anything. Alright guys, I've hit about everything in this place. Nothing breaks down. But, I think I missed some loot. Either I missed loot or loot respawned. Because we got a machete right here. Also, check this out. Look at this, man. How did I miss this? Man, that is unbelievable. We can't be, uh, we can't be missing that kind of stuff, man. That's too important. But the thing is, when I get to places, I get all excited and then I, you know, I miss stuff. It's just, it's just the way things go. Alright, so I don't think I looted down here. So we're going to kind of come down here and see if we can loot anything down here. All right, and I think my truck is over there. Oh, we got some cars over there. Can my truck get around here? Yes, it can. Okay. What else? What else I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and break up this tree. Now I told you guys you could break up this tree, and I wasn't lying. You kind of chop it down just like a regular tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and break that up. I'll do that off camera though. Let's do some looting first. All right. Can break that? Nope. Can we break this? Nope. Can we break the trash? I don't think I've been able to break trash yet, so... Nothing in there. I know I haven't looted down here. By the way, this is the other road. Remember the road that went down to the city? That's this road. So, I'm pretty sure I looted this, but not 100% sure. We could definitely break this up. I'll do that off camera. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Uh, I've got a lot of gas, but I guess we could always use more. Take it out, 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 take it out. Beautiful. Alright, what do we got in here? Nothing. Nothing in there. Yeah, I might have already looted all this stuff, actually. I just don't remember. Oh, good amount of gas there. Take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. My car is definitely using gas. So getting this gas is not pointless. And there you go, guys. You know what? I guess I'll, I'll get the logs out of here. I don't really need to take them. I've got more logs than I know what to do with, but I'm going to at least get them out of the road. Because I don't think I'm going to drive up here from the back way anymore. I'm going to go around. Even though it's longer, I'm getting sick of driving through the woods. It, it's really... Eh, it's kind of the worst, to be honest. So we're just going to grab this stuff. We'll take apart these two cars here. See if there's anything else in the area we could take apart. Nothing there. Oh, another tip you guys gave me that, like, is a great tip. Um, I knew about it. I've known about it for over a year. But it is a great tip, and I'm, thank you for reminding me. Um, what you can do is, remember how I was talking about um, how the uh, infected can break in through the windows? And if you, put, if you put stuff in front of the windows, they break it and you lose all your stuff? Well, apparently I was right about that. But what I forgot to mention was what you want to use is livestock fence. If you put livestock fence in the window, um, the zombies cannot break it. I mean... 
God, I was doing that like last last August. I totally forgot about it though because it's been a while since I used that in a build. But yes, you just put the livestock fence in the window and the zombies can't do anything. Not only that, but they get close enough where they kind of glitch through it. You can knife them and get like easy kills while they're trying to break in. It's a fantastic thing. Great job, guys. Thank you for reminding me about that. And uh, since you reminded me, I will uh, say it in the video so other people know about it too. Okay. There we go. We'll just leave that right there. Do you want to take apart some more cars? Yeah, let's take apart another car. Yeah, and then we're going to get back and do some farming. Oh, two cars. Two cars for the price of one. All right, guys, we're at the White House, and I'm going to go ahead and take apart this thing. Aw, I was hoping I'd get some metal out of it. I would take apart these, but, like, you don't get anything but wood, right? So I'm not going to bother with those. But if you come over here, you should be able to take this stuff apart, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can take apart the stuff at the um, at the old jungle gym. So we'll hit these up as well. I should be able to take apart all this stuff here, which is really cool. So nice, uh, nice bit of metal here. So if you're gonna hit the White House, make sure you take this stuff apart. Stuff used to respawn when you reloaded the game. It'd be cool if it did again. <laughs> okay, so this is weird. Um, there was a couple barrels on the ground over here, and I broke those up, which I thought was normal. But look at this. This is actually breakable too. That's crazy. So. I'm pretty sure there was crates like this in other places that wasn't breakable. So I'm not really sure how the game decides what's breakable or not. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you have to hit them everywhere. But that is pretty nuts. Just taking a nap here at the White House because I need some stamina back. Um, I'm going to show you something. Oh, look at this. Wait, what does that give you? It didn't give you anything. Maybe it fell outside or... I don't know. That's weird. You could break a lot of stuff at the White House, huh? That's interesting. I wanted to show you something. Uh, well, let's see what we get out of this. Alright, just wood. I am actually picking up the wood. So check this out, man. I know I looted this when I came here last time. So, you know, I don't know what's going on with the loot. It's just it's just kind of weird. It's just kind of, I don't know, doing its own thing. Now, I know I could break stuff up for more wood, but I'm not going to bother. I mean, I took the wood, but it's not like that big of a deal to me. Yeah, it's pretty nuts, right? Uh, loot in here? No? Might as well look at everything at this point. Alright, no, this is all... Yeah, I don't know, maybe I didn't loot upstairs. I thought I did, but... I guess there's a possibility I might not have. Let's see if there's anything in here. Nothing. Can take apart this? Nope. This? Nope. Now I'm just hitting everything. Now I'm just hitting everything because I want to take apart everything. Alright, so we should be able to take apart this and get some metal for it. And then I'm going to hit those right there and take those apart. Those will only give me wood, though. Alright, guys, I'm going to sloppily put a bunch of this stuff away. <laughs> so I can make some room so I can do some farming for this video, man. I've been uh, waiting to do some farming, man. It's time to do some mother effing farming. Hells to the effing yeah. Alright, so what we have to do is we have to make a watering can. Right? So we're going to need some nails. I think I know where the nails are. Uh, we're also going to need a shovel. We're going to need the seeds. All right, where's the shovel? There it is. Uh, I don't think we need the soil sack. And I believe the nails are upstairs. Let's go take a look. We just had a mist, by the way. So you might hear some... Whatever the hell they... Whatever the hell noise they're making. Um, let's come up here and see if we can find those nails. Look at that. I remember where the nails was. Huh? 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 Now, where do we want the farm to be? Now, I think we can move the farm if need be, but I don't really see a need for that. So, I think this would actually be an okay place for the farm right here. I mean, right up against the barn. I don't know. Why not? I'd like to make a um, like a fence surrounding the farm and everything and, uh, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah. So, this is going to be all place for open area and then we'll probably put a couple more cabins over here yeah we're not going to put another cabin over here so this is this is the place for the farm okay so um well let's go make the watering can first and foremost and then we'll make the farm we'll plant it and put some water in there see if we can uh you know grow some food for old bobby we can also change bobby's name which is pretty cool so although i don't know if you have to make the dog tags it said i could change the name without the dog tag so i'm not really sure if you actually at 100 need the dog tags to change the name now how do you put water in this damn thing Okay, well, first things first, let's go ahead and make the farm. All right, and uh, we'll put this away. And actually, I don't like it there because see how the, the barn's off the ground? I don't, yeah, I don't really like it there because of that barn being off the ground thing. Uh, might be a better place for the chicken coop. So where would I put the farm? It's not going to go over there. That's good. The wall's going to come over this way. 
I mean, I can always move the farm later. Wait, can you make seeds out of corn? That's what I need to know. Can you make seeds out of corn? Say, can you guys let me know in the comments, please? Because then I'll, I'll know if I can move the um, farm or not. If I, you know, if I can move the farm, no big deal. If I can't, you know, whatevs. Glug, 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 glug. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to go hunt the bear for sure. Anyway, I'm going to put the farm right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build like a little fence around it. And the farm will be right up against this building here. That'll still leave room for a lot more um, buildings for people to live in. Should not be a problem. All right. So there we go. All right. So do we have the seeds on us? We do. And let's go fill up the water container. Now, does it have to be fresh water? I don't think like I don't know if like plants need fresh water or dirty water. Like plants could live off pond water, right? Or I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to kind of see about that. Um, I'm going to give them fresh water, though, just because I can. So let's... Oh, wait. Is that not how you get water? Oh, so that's not how you get water, huh? Well, can I get water out of this? There we go. So I don't think it has to... Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it probably doesn't have to be fresh water. Because if it was going to be fresh water, it would allow me to get it out of that, um, you know, that clean water source. All right, let's turn on the light, man. Let's get a little dark here. I'm going to make that generator, too, dude. Man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. So, let's go ahead and plant here. Wait. Plant none. Does it have to be my in my hands? Probably has to be my hands. Four. There we go. There we go. Now, three. And what? Just like this? Am I doing this right? Is that supposed to change colors? It's supposed to change colors, right? I don't know. Is there anything to tell you? Is there anything to tell you like how watered it is? I think it's I think it's supposed to change colors. Right? That looks like it's changing colors, right? Yeah, it definitely is. You can tell the difference now. So they need to they need to give you a um they need what they need to do is they need to give you some kind of water gauge on the plants so you know how watered they are. I mean I'm assuming that's fully watered, but I don't know for sure. All right, guys, it is getting dark, and I hate making dark videos, but we did get some uh, farming done, which is great. I mean, this has been a, this has been a really, really um, productive episode for me. Um, I'm really happy about the farming, and uh, let me know let me know about the farming in your game. Let me know, you know, how your guys' farming has been going. Have they been doing well? Has it been a little bit of a trouble? Has it been a trouble for you? Have stuff because I've heard like people saying like stuff is not growing, so I don't know. Let me know if your plants are growing in your games. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time, and until then, take it easy.